Hi, welcome to our cozy garden. For those of you who are new here, my name is May and we are gardening in Zone 3, Alberta, Canada. This year, we are starting our microcut flower farm in our backyards. So if you'd like to follow our journey, please click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel. So today we are going to pre-sprout ranunculus. So we ordered five kinds of ranunculus and for each kind, there are 10 corms. So we have the ranunculus cream and then the ranunculus pasta lemon, the chamallow or chamallow, and then the barbie, and then the ranunculus purple chain. So the first step that we're doing for the ranunculus is to hydrate them. Um, why do we need to hydrate them? It's because when you order ranunculus, they look like this. So they look like dehydrated aliens, okay? So when we hydrate them, we need to soak them in water for at least three hours. And then for those three hours, we need to aerate them. So how do we aerate them? If you do have a pump, so you can use that for aerating the water, but then you could also do it manually, which what we're going to do, we're going to change the water every 30 minutes or an hour to make sure that there is still air that goes inside. Otherwise, it will turn into mush. So it's our first year to have a microcut flower farm in our backyard. So this year, it's, um, it's a year of learning and to enjoy the experience of growing different kinds of flower in a zone three garden. So we're doing two methods of planting the ranunculus and we ordered five varieties and each variety has 10 corms. So first method would be pre-sprouting seven corms from each variety and then we're going to pre-sprout them indoors and then we're going to grow them in our um, indoor setup with grow lights. And then the second method would be pre-sprouting those three corms um, from each variety um, around April. And then after pre-sprouting them indoors, we're going to directly sow them outside. So from there, we would know which works better in our Zone 3 setup. So I used a room temperature tap water in soaking the ranunculus corms and now I'm going to label them so we know which one's the chamallow, barbie, purple jean cream and the pastel lemon. I'm going to use a permanent pen and a craft stick or popsicle stick for labeling it so that I can also use this labelers when I transfer them to our backyard. So we're done labeling our ranunculus. We have set the timer for three hours and then we're going to change the water every 30 minutes to manually aerate the corms. So we're done hydrating our ranunculus corms for three hours. And within those three hours, we kept changing the water for 30 minutes to keep them aerated. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the dehydrated uh, corm. So this is what it looks like when um, we just got it. So it's very dry. So after three hours, this is, how it looks like now. So it's very plump. Okay, so we're going to drain 
the water. So let's start with the pastel lemon. So when you pre-sprout your corms, you have to make sure that your soil is moist, well moist. Not wet, but just pretty moist for the corms to survive. I don't want to waste the water from hydrating the corms, so that's why I just mix it here. So this soil is a combination of peat moss and some vermiculite and crushed eggshells. So when you pre-sprout them, you have to make sure that the fingers are pointing down. Okay, because this is where the roots are going to grow. But you just have to be very careful because they're very fragile. They say that if you have bigger corms, you'll also get um, bigger flowers. So this looks promising. Then you'll cover them lightly with soil yeah. to keep them moist. So we're going to pre-sprout this for two weeks in a cool, dry place. In our case, we're going to put it in our basement. And every other day, we're going to check it and make sure that the, that the soil is moist. So if it's dry, we're just going to mix it with water. And then after two weeks, we're going to transfer it in our indoor um, grow light setup. And then come mid-April, mid when the weather is really good for the ranunculus, we're going to transfer it at our backyard. So this is our first video for growing ranunculus in Zone 3, Alberta, Canada. Today is March 3rd, so in two weeks time, which is March 17th, we'll give you an update of our ranunculus. So if you want to grow along with us, please subscribe to our channel. So once again, my name is May, and thank you so much for watching our cozy garden.